So I'm Owen Bainbridge. Um, been in the England squad for about five years now. Yeah, I'm Jono. Uh, been playing for uh, blind football for five years, five and a half years. Um, for me, basically, it just means everything. It's what we work for. Um, it's what we're driving towards all the time. Um, it's just in everything, sort of everything you do. Um, football comes first. Yeah, um, well, ever since being a young lad, you, you want to play for your country, play football for your country, and, and uh, to get the chance to do that is, uh, is a fantastic feeling. Massive, um, especially in this country. Um, not only obviously for for the results and the gold that we need and getting to the Paralympics and all that, but just, just to publicise the sport, to make it bigger, make it better for people coming through as well, for young people coming through. I think uh, out of all the competitions we've been to, um, barring the Paralympics, the, all the, the football-based uh, competitions we've been to is uh, uh, the one in Hereford in 2010 was the biggest. I'd like 900 people turning up to every game. We, we, I mean, it's gold. It's got, it's got to be. I, th I think we, we, we're going in to win it, and anything less isn't really acceptable. I think we've got to be one of the favourites. We've 13 games beaten now, uh, conceded one goal in that time. Um, so we've got to be confident. We can't, can't be cocky about it, but you know we've got to be confident that we're going to go out there and, and beat, beat the teams in front of us. Right? So there's no point. The way we look at it is, I mean, there's no point turning out if you're not turning out to win. I mean, obviously, there's always strategies and ways of doing that, but that's ultimately that's what what we what we know will happen if we do everything right. Yeah, like I said, like, the competition we've been to before is not being quite low, low key scale, right? So the one in 2010 in Hereford it was a big scale. There was loads of people around. We've been a home home team. It was that people? So I was in our tracksuits and stuff outside, he was doing a nice buzz about it and um, so it makes you feel uh, I'm an ambassador uh, for the Royal uh, National College for the Blind. I'm um, obviously part of that is the, the England football team, uh, blind football team. Um, a lot of the players are now are full time, um, almost professional um, if you like. The college has got better, um, it's now a, an institute of sport um, for the blind which is absolutely fabulous. And it's just given not just the elite partially sighted um, and, and blind players the opportunity, it's given everybody uh, an opportunity to be involved. I think talking to some of the guys, and obviously this is only second hand, you can be very, very isolated um, you know, when, when either you go blind or, or you are blind. And I think being involved in team sports, coming together with like-minded people, keeping fit, being healthy um, is part of it. But having that camaraderie, um, that banter, if you like, I know that's a banned word, um, but you know, it's brilliant. You know, and, the, and the guys, you see them having a great laugh, enjoying themselves, passionate about what they do, um, and, I, and I think that, that's absolutely vital. Clark has presented um, the FA Cup uh, to Wigan when they won it. David Beckham's tried this, John Terry. Um, you know, a lot of top people have tried it. You know, it's football. You know, we all love football, whether that be grassroots in the park, whether that be you know, disabled football, I've been involved with the cerebral palsy team um, as well, whether that be blind football, or whether that be elite level, you know, professional football and World Cups. Football is the world game. You know, you just need a ball. 